Okay, you can continue. Okay. Uh, so uh, finally, we have uh, uh, have the on shell philosophy. So this uh, vari uh, this variation of Lagrangian uh, after respecting the Euler Lagrange equation. So it is uh, the full di uh, divergence of uh, of uh, multiplication of momenta and our field. So uh, now what I have to say, the, the most, uh, the crucial part uh, for this talk is the equivalence between three uh, variational principles in general relativity. So first, uh, first it is, uh, it is metric picture. Uh, uh, I called it that, uh, that, config, uh, that uh, th theory where Lagrangian depends on uh, second on uh, on metric first and second derivative of metric and uh, the uh, some tensor field matter field uh, in generally it is uh, end of uh, and its derivative uh, what I want to mean uh, that a and j is a multi indices so for example we could have uh, that uh, e could be alpha beta gamma j could be I don't know mu nu kappa it is multi indices you know uh, what I mean. Uh, especially it could be zero and it will be the scalar field. And our Lagrangian, mat, uh, our Lagrangian is of course the Hilbert Lagrangian, Hilbert part and L matter Lagrangian, which depends, uh, what is uh, maybe uh, a little bit surprising that we have the dependence of the covariant de derivative of this field. We know that when we have the um, scalar field, it is trivially uh, the, uh, the derivative of this field. But when we have some tensor field, uh, like, for example, uh, in electromagnetic, we, could, we should we have the special configuration, which also is a tensor. So we have uh, Faraday to form, uh, but generally we don't have to we don't have to produce uh, such objects. We could use the covariant derivative to be uh, to, uh, to be invariant so because this is what we want. Such objects should be a tensors to, to have proper uh, transformation rules and of course metric. Uh, the next picture is a uh, Palatini picture. This is also quite well known uh, option to describe uh, gener uh, general relativity. Uh, here we have metric, the first and second derivatives of connection. Uh, especially, we will have some uh, special configurations of it, like, for example, Ricci tensor and also, for example, the covariant derivative, but for this connection. Uh, and fields uh, as, previously, as previously, and we read it in following form. So here we have somehow uh, Hilbert action with now Ricci tensor is not for metric connection, but for general connection. Uh, and uh, the uh, Lagrangian of matter, which uh, which also I could uh, I could read in way uh, very similar to the previous that we have the covariant derivative with respect for this this connection okay uh, and the last picture which is uh, i think the least known it is uh, a fine uh, a fine picture when we don't have metric we only have uh, the our configuration is the connection first derivative of connection and uh, and uh, matter field and uh, first derivative of matter field and of course we we should uh, write it in that way that we have some uh, well, uh, with good transformation rules, uh, objects like tensors. Uh, what is important? I think. Oh, okay, I have it written. So, uh, why uh, why I want to to, to do this? Uh, of course, it is uh, to possible. Uh, it is a possibility to uh, analyze the general relativity theory in all those pictures equivalently, uh, and I describe what does it mean that we can do it equivalently. Uh, it is a unique way to rewrite the theory from the one to the other uh, way of uh, from uh, one way of description to others uh, and it is uh, I should get the main assumption of my analysis which I present that I have the symmetric connection not metric but symmetric so when we go back to Palatini uh, for example picture this connection has to be symmetric not metric but symmetric uh, and it is the the main point for for, for this uh, deliberation. So uh, now, now I do something really hard because I want to present you the scheme of proof how it is equivalent. But why I want to do this? This is a constructive proof. So we have some formulas which we can use to retrans to transform from one 
uh, way of description than in other and uh, and have and can uh, and can use can use this construction to to show something or to check something and i want to do this now so we start from the most uh, the well known uh, picture so the uh, metric picture which has, uh, as it was said we it, we have the hilbert lagrangian and matter lagrangian and uh, we have to calculate the variation of it. So at first we we could calculate the variation of Hilbert Lagrangian. This effect was uh, made by Professor Kiyowski with in some of his uh, article. I don't remember which one, but if someone is uh, is interested, I could find it. That uh, this variation is the first term. I think the more, the well known uh, we have the Einstein density tensor and variation of metric and some boundary term. For example, it is uh, somehow in, uh, interesting that in uh, the quite big and uh, well known book uh, Gravitation, uh, the Mr. Willerton, this term is said that it is long and not important, uh, but it could be written in quite nice uh, nice form as as I uh, present uh, and. Uh, Okay, uh, what more? We could uh, use the different object, which is pi, and I oh, and I have it. What is uh, what is it? To uh, to inter to really know what the, uh, what this term means. So here we have, as, as I said, the Einstein density tensor and variation of metric, and here we have the a combination of metric, this uh, this uh, determinant. Uh, and Kronecker delta, as it was, as it is written uh, down uh, below. Uh, so uh, this object is quite useful to to uh, is quite quite useful because it makes all calculations much uh, much more visible and uh, easier to understand. Uh, so. Uh, we very often, uh, and uh, what is uh, also uh, maybe interesting, such object uh, proposed Fock in his uh, in his book, but he used the the, the determinant of metric and uh, inverse metric without uh, without this uh, sixteen pi. Uh, uh, but when we use it, it is much more uh, easier because, as we see, uh, as we can see that the, this first important term is only the Ricci tensor and the variation of that combination of metric, not pure metric, but such density. Uh, okay, uh, so in that way, the Hilbert uh, Lagrangian uh, it could be written as the multiplication of that phi and r. It is quite easy to see. Uh, the next part, of course, it is variation of matter Lagrangian. Uh, and when we use the chain rule and uh, write properly on dependence of all these objects, we could write it as a uh, following uh, following term so we have the first boundary term so we have the somehow uh, somehow euler lagrange equation but general generalized because here we have the covariant derivative why we have it because we also vary uh, we also make a variation over the uh, the connection so we can see so we have the extra terms which uh, which are summing to the variation over uh, do uh, divergence covariant divergence of that T, uh, of that uh, momenta. Uh, maybe I don't say this, but it is uh, quite obvious that momenta are always uh, tensor densities because it is the, 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 uh, the derivative uh, of Lagrangian over some tensor, which is, which is the uh, matter field. Here we have the boundary term, some term uh, of variation of connection and, mm, and uh, the term of variation of metric. Uh, so we can add it uh, to to one, so our variation, so variation of our matter Lagrangian have have following form: the first term, which is the Euler Lagrange of matter field. The second one is not fi not finished yet, not yet uh, uh, Einstein equation because it is the deriv the uh, variational derivative Lagrangian over metric, but it is not finished because here we also have terms which depend on metric and the uh, the uh, derivatives of metrics so we also have to transform this part and the boundary term uh, and the boundary term so now it is the crucial part of of this uh, which we which uh, yes it is the crucial part of how uh, all this uh, all this co construction because this term 
so derivative of uh, Lagrangian uh, over the metric uh, metric connection uh, could be written as uh, as I said uh, as the something proportional to variation over metric and boundary term and R is a quite easy combination of these derivatives so it is much more useful to use this R than this P because as you see it is uh, much uh, shorter so now this term which is proportional to the variation of metric going to uh, to the Einstein uh, equation and this boundary term goes to the other boundary terms and that finally we have the uh, proper uh, the variational the, uh, the proper variation of Lagrangian two volume terms and one boundary term. So as it was said before, uh, in metric picture we have uh, we have two Euler Lagrange uh, equations. So we have the uh, the we have the uh, equation for uh, dynamic of matter field and its uh, gravitational behavior. So this part is, is of course the Einstein equation. Uh, it, it is of course an Einstein equation, but we should, we can see that this part is somehow the stress energy uh, stress uh, stress energy tensor density especially, uh, which describe the 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 matter. And what is important, but I don't uh, going into this uh, this subject uh, here uh, in this talk. That this isn't it isn't equal to the nether stress energy tensor. It is something different. Uh, but I only want to mention it, but I know I'm uh, not going into into this. But if someone is interested, I have this description of this fact in my uh, master thesis. Uh, and of course the boundary term. So if you have the uh, the metric picture and we want to analyze the uh, the general relativity theory, now it is finished. We we have what we want: the two uh, two uh, two equations or two, uh, two 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 types of equations and some boundary term. And especially when we want to to describe something, we don't care what we have finally. Maybe if we uh, if we are uh, thinking about some uh, some some properties at infinity or something like this, uh, but for our uh, for uh, following uh, for the next part, it is the most important because, as I said, we use the on shell philosophy. So we want to kill these uh, first uh, volume parts, and we will transform this boundary term to go to other picture. So, as I said, on shell, it is only this boundary term. So, uh, it is quite easy and uh, it is quite easy and short form, but it has a little maybe problem. Why? Because on the uh, on the uh, one hand, we have that metric is in control mode. We have variation over metric, so it is something like uh, position in classical mechanic, and metric takes role of position, but also it takes role of momenta because as we remember it was a few slides before uh, that this pi is also a combination of metric and its derivative yes so we have that uh, that the same object uh, placed uh, has two rules as a position and as a momenta and it is i think strange so we want to to uh, to fix it uh, in that way that we have uh, we transport the metric uh, to the uh, momenta role only. So uh, finally, we will have, uh, uh, and finally, we will have only the connection and only uh, the tensor, uh, the matter field. So uh, this term we could uh, retransform also the uh, this pi. So we could make such combination of G and derivatives of G. You know, making some. Uh, some tricks like chain rules uh, and and others uh, and multiplied it by some tensor n I write the formula for n uh, below and full uh, and full vari uh, and uh, such term which is a full variation yes uh, and this n have following form it is quite complicated but but uh, possible to to but possible to get I, I get it especially. Uh, and this R is the tensor of this previous R. So, uh, and it is also quite, I think, uh, quite nice in this uh, in this notation that all calligraphic uh, font is the densities. 
and uh, the normal font is the tensors. So if you are thinking about, and also Greek indices are, uh, no, maybe in Greek it is uh, maybe a little complicated because metric isn't a tensor, but pi is a tensor density. Uh, so uh, as I, as I uh, read it here, uh, we transform this part uh, as follows. Yes, so we have boundary term and full, uh, and full, the, and full variation, and I put it here. So what we get, we get something like this. Uh, we have a sum of metric connection and some tensor n, uh, and uh, this uh, and these objects have one momenta, the pi, the metric especially, but some con uh, a combination of metric. So we, it is, it will be nice to call it as a one object, uh, as a as a general metric symmetric connection, as a general symmetric connection. Uh, we, we can do this uh, and we what and we do and we especially uh, do this yes so we have finally something like this that uh, we have the co general connection uh, symmetric connection uh, with its momenta matter tensor and its momenta and some and full uh, uh, and full variation so to to uh, to to make it clear we should uh, we should uh, this term uh, written on the left hand side have, and uh, and have only the um, the full divergence yes uh, ah okay i do it on the next slide so now we can uh, get the conclusion that uh, if the lagrangian of matter does not depend on the covariant derivative of the matter field then the connection stays symmetric because this n depends of uh, derivatives of lagrangian over symmetric connection so if we don't have dependence of symmetric connection in matter Lagrangian, it is zero, so we do nothing. But if it depends, not trivially, uh, it uh, it produces uh, it, it produce such such term as this n and this r. Yes, uh, and for the matter Lagrangian, which depends on the first covariant der derivative, on the uh, only on the first, uh, I, I, I write it but not mention it. Uh, it exists an equal, a unique way to define our general symmetric connection as it is written here and on previous slide when we have the formula for n. Yes, so uh, as, so th that was the conclusion of, of this deliberation. Uh, and ah, okay, I want to discuss the um, variables of this uh, of this uh, of this Lagrangian uh, because we have uh, the we have uh, at the beginning okay at the beginning we have uh, the metric and its first and second derivative and also uh, matter field and its first derivative but we use the special combination of these derivatives of metric because it wasn't the tensors uh, we get we put it in uh, into connections and also uh, and more uh, and to uh, to get the pure tensors we have such objects yes so this uh, this this uh, derivatives of metrics uh, goes into Lagrangian in special way, in special combinations. A special uh, so it is a Ricci tensor symmetric and a covariant derivative of some matter field. Uh, so uh, oh, okay. So uh, and it have uh, and it has the following uh, the following um, uh, and we have the following variation of this of this Lagrangian, so this boundary term, which I discussed previously, and uh, this full variation. So to get the Palatini picture, we have to uh, we have to uh, subtract this uh, this term, yes, to, to get the pure uh, boundary term without any extra full variation, uh, and we get it, yes. So our Palatini Lagrangian uh, is constructed for the metric uh, Lagrangian as a subtraction of such term. And uh, as you remember, if we if our uh, matter Lagrangian doesn't depend on uh, metric connection, it is uh, it is equal. Yes, we don't have this term. It is it is just equal. But we have to uh, rewrite. Uh, this uh, this metric objects into general objects and as a general connection. So so it is the reason why I called it as Palatini picture because in Palatini we have it. Yes, we have the connection, uh, the general connection, and finally we get, for example, for Hibbert uh, action, we have that it should be metric. Yes. Uh, so in Palatini uh, in Palatini uh, picture we have 
we have these uh, variables, so metric, connection, derivative of general connection, and matter fields with, with it first derivatives, uh, if it first derivatives. Yes? Uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, but, but uh, we construct it, uh, we construct it for, uh, from the matter, from the general matter Lagrangian. So we have the uh, metric derivatives and uh, covariant derivatives and the metric Ricci tensor. So we have to uh, transform it to the Ricci tensor and covariant derivatives of the general connection. Yes. So I remember that uh, general connection is following some. So Ricci tensor of this general connection could be written as following form. It is quite quite nice that we have the covariant derivatives over this metric uh, tens over this metric uh, connection of this non metricity term, uh, non metricity tensor, and the square and the square of uh, non metricity tensor. So our uh, new Hilbert Lagrangian in uh, in um, in Palatini picture uh, following form. Yes. So uh, what are ah, what is important that uh, when we multiply it over pi, this full uh, this this uh, this covariant uh, derivatives of this non-metric tensor uh, sum uh, sums up to this term which we want to uh, subtract. It is exactly this term which we have previously. Uh, I have uh, not here, but in my master thesis I have proof of it. It's quite uh, quite easy to to to, to write it. Uh, so it is uh, it is really nice that uh, it's in, it is somehow in natural way uh, we can transform from the matter uh, from uh, the Hilbert Lagrangian for uh, the metric case to the Palatini case. Of course, we have these extra terms, but as we, as we remember, this n is uh, is proportional to derivatives of Lagrangian over connection. Uh, symmetric connection. So if we have symmetric connection of our Lagrangian, this terms is proportional to matter fields. Yes. Uh, so this uh, this term is ex uh, it, this term is more or less proportional to to this matter field. So uh, our Palatini Lagrangian transform transforms as follows. This term, yes, it's here. It's uh, it's going with this and with this term to the uh, to the Hilbert like uh, Lagrangian. And we have to add and uh, subtract this term. So when we uh, when we add it, we have this term. But when we uh, subtract it, we have to put it into the uh, new matter Lagrangian. Yes, to to have to, to have this equality. So our uh, so but in generally our matter Lagrangian is on is just the sub subtraction of pa full Palatini Lagrangian of uh, and the Hilbert Lagrangian. Yes, it is quite. Uh, quite easy and and obvious. Uh, so now uh, we, as I said, uh, we, uh, we have to uh, we have to uh, to transform this uh, this Palatini Lagrangian, but also we have to do this into uh, the variational uh, case. Uh, so we uh, we have the variation over connection, not over Ricci tensor and uh, and other terms, but only the uh, connection. So we could write it. Uh, as follows. So use uh, you, so there is so derive this term as a sum of following terms. So derivative of momenta and derivative of connection, and it could be proved that these terms, these two terms, are, could be written as a multiplication of pi and Ricci tensor of this general connection and the covariant derivative of this new metric of this uh, momenta and. Uh, covariant and uh, and connection. Yes. Uh, so now uh, we have uh, we have something uh, we have that uh, we have the connection character equation because we have that the derivative of Palatini Lagrangian over this connection should be equal to covariant derivative of this momenta. As we remember, this momenta is proportional to metric. So if our Palatini Lagrangian, uh, especially this new matter Lagrangian, depends on covariant uh, of covariant derivatives. Uh, this term is in zero. Yes, because because it, it is it is in zero. So the covariant derivative of of more or less metric is in zero. So that connection cannot be metric. But if it is zero, it has to be metric. So it could be written uh, as I as I said. So when 
uh, when it is zero, uh, this term is uh, could be written as a as a covariant derivative of metric, and it is zero. That that uh, that uh, we conclude that con that connection is metric, but if it could be written as a, some general term, as I read as 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 uh, p lambda mu kappa, uh, we have the formula for the uh, we have a formula for the non metricity of this uh, connection uh, of uh, of this uh, of new uh, we have the new connection which could be uh, which could be written as two as two parts as a covariant uh, as a covar uh, as a metric connection as and a non metric uh, tensor yes and what is uh, also maybe surprising that it is the same formula for this uh, this is the same formula for non metricity uh, tensor as we have in metric uh, in metric case so it is exactly uh, it is exactly the same uh, so uh, yes uh, now time for short comments so there is a very strange relation between the matter field and the non metricity of the uh, of the connection uh, as I said, if we, if we have the covariant derivatives of matter field, uh, we could represent, we could, uh, we could have the general non-metric connection and uh, and uh, get the previously mentioned uh, um, effects. Uh, and uh, what is more important, I think, that we cannot randomly assume the non-metric character of the connection and the structure of matter Lagrangian simultaneously. Uh, I find some uh, some articles or some theories where uh, where people used to uh, write the uh, they assume some uh, non some non metric connection and they write of course the Lagrangian and they randomly write the part of matter. So from this point of view, we we, we cannot do such things. We we uh, we have the very strange correlation between the non metricity of new connection and uh, the structure of matter Lagrangian, yes. Uh, so it is a point, and uh, as it was written, the non-metricity tensor n is uniquely defined by the matter Lagrangian because we have a pure uh, a pure equation for it. We have a formula. Uh, so finally, our Palatini picture have following form, yes. Uh, and uh, and what we can say uh, more uh, that. Uh, that, uh, as it was mentioned previously, metric is also one variable for this uh, for this picture. But for the uh, from uh, when we see on the variational uh, formula, we don't have metric as a control mode. We only have it in uh, in a, uh, um, answer mode somehow. So answer momenta. So metric is um, somehow a pathological degree of freedom in a Palatini picture because if it will it it will be an uh, independent degree of freedom, we should have uh, such terms. We have the variation of metric here, and the, uh, we, we will have the boundary term, which depends on metric, but we don't get it. We also, uh, we also delayed uh, it from uh, the metric case, mm, because we have this effect that uh, we, don't ha we don't want to have uh, the metric in two, in, two, in two positions as a control mode, so as a variation, and as an answer mode, so as a momentum. So uh, it is. We could also uh, see it as an analog from the classical mechanics that we could uh, assume a Lagrangian which depends on position, uh, velocity, and momenta. But it is. It is not natural. We, the momenta. It isn't an independent degree of freedom because we also we can uh, use following formula for Hamiltonian uh, and calculate uh, and. Um, and delete this, uh, de delete this pathological uh, degree of freedom from the uh, from the from the uh, Hilbert uh, Hamilton uh, equation, uh, and also the uh, variation over this Lagrangian, uh, this Lagrangian over this uh, over this momenta. So in our case, uh, the analog of this proce uh, procedure is uh, the Einstein equation. So uh, we have the uh, Variational derivative of Lagrangian of, uh, of uh, Palatini Lagrangian over the metric, but in our uh, case it is uh, we have only metric. We don't have uh, the derivatives over metric because uh, if we start from the Palatini picture, 
uh, we don't know anything about the connection, so we cannot assume uh, that it is metric on uh, that it is metric. So we cannot assume the special case. So we have only this formula. So we have to calculate the divergence, the uh, derivative of uh, of our Lagrangian over this metric. So as uh, so it is it is easy to to get it that. The, uh, the the derivative of Lagra of Hilbert uh, Lagrangian over the metric is the Einstein density met, uh, tensor, and uh, and this term. Uh, but when we uh, come back to the metric tensor uh, to the uh, to the metric uh, case as uh, as an equivalent form, yes. Uh, here then uh, there we have the the pure variation. We have to write it, but. Um, it is uh, equivalent to the following form. So we can see that from Einstein, some, that from the uh, metric case to uh, when we go from metric case to the Palatini case, we only have to transform uh, this uh, metric object to the non-metric objects and other terms go, uh, and other terms uh, right uh, in, uh, put into the uh, the new matter Lagrangian and this. This equation, these two equations, is absolutely equivalent. I know that it is equal to zero, so I always could uh, could write that it was equivalent, uh, that it was equivalent. But it, th but this is purely equivalent because I could transform this equation from this one, and I also have proof of it in my master thesis. But I don't want to uh, do it here. So this is exactly the same, uh, the same, uh, the same uh, the same equation. Uh, so uh, we eliminate this uh, metric, uh, th this metric tensor from our Palatini Lagrangian from Einstein equation, as I said uh, with the example from uh, from classical mechanics. Uh, but it is much more useful to use this pi, not this g, to to, to write it. But it is uh, it is the same. Yes, we only use the different combination, and now we don't have the uh, Einstein tensor, but the rich tensor. It is only difference. Yes. So these two, th these two equations is absolutely the same what we have previously with uh, when we have the derivative over the metric. Uh, yes. Uh, so when we, uh, so when we, uh, when we, uh, when we calculate from this uh, Einstein equation the the, for, uh, the formula of metric and we put it into the Lagrangian, the Palatini Lagrangian. We will have something which is called as an affine Lagrangian. So we don't have metric here. We only have the connection, derivatives of connection, tensor field, uh, matter tensor field as its first derivative. So affine picture, it is from this point of view the Lagra the, the Palatini Lagrangian with when where we uh, where we uh, where we uh, delete the uh, pathological degree of freedom, which is a metric. Yes. So it is exactly. Uh, so here we have exactly the same. We don't have to add or subtract some terms. It is exactly the same, but when we use the um, Einstein equation to, to derive the metric. Uh, but as it was in uh, Palatini, we don't have connection and derivatives of connection in some random configuration. We have it in special form, which we have, of course, the Ricci tensor and the covariant derivatives of, it, of this tensor field. So our uh, uh, so variation of our affine Lagrangian is have the same the same for us for the uh, Palatini Lagrangian. We doesn't change here anything. We only we only change the the uh, the, the formula of uh, Palatini Lagrangian by uh, eliminating the metric. And in this case, when we don't have metric, yes, uh, the our uh, our Einstein equation is exactly the derivative, uh, the uh, lag uh, affine Lagrangian over the Ricci uh, tensor. It is this term. So uh, the derivative of uh, yes, I, I said it actually. So when if we want to start from the affine picture, uh, we have to know something uh, previously that our momenta, uh, which is uh, canonically conjugated to symmetric Ricci tensor, is a metric. Uh, if we start from the uh, this uh, this picture, we have to we somehow uh, know to have it or maybe define it as a metric. Okay, but when we go for uh, as I read you previously, it is uh, it is very well uh, argumented that it is a metric. Yes. 
Uh, so now it was quite uh, long, I think, and maybe complicated. I want to present this whole idea in some nutshell and we maybe uh, get a break, okay? Uh, so we start from the, uh, for the metric uh, picture where we have, uh, where our configuration as the metric, it's first and second derivative at matter field. Uh, we go to the Palatini picture when we have the general uh, symmetric connection uh, as an independent uh, variable uh, and um, also metric and uh, matter and affine picture where we uh, where we uh, eliminate the metric we only have the connection and the matter field so uh, from point of view of equation in in uh, in metric case we have a following uh, einstein equation Yes, uh, it is an equivalent for the, uh, if, we, if I use the metric, not the momenta pi, uh, it will be it will be G, but here we will have the uh, Einstein tensor with one over 16 pi. Uh, and we have the, uh, and when we go from uh, metric to the Palatini, we have the formula for new, uh, for new connection, which takes, uh, independent, which takes role as an independent variable. Uh, and then we have the equivalent of Einstein equation. It have the same uh, the same uh, structure, but as I said, we have uh, we have to write it in using the general connection, and uh, we have to uh, get the new matter Lagrangian, which is uh, strong, uh, which is uh, the uh, which is this, uh, the old Lagrangian uh, subtracted with some terms of uh, which depends on n, and from this equation we have to calculate a metric as a as a function of uh, of uh, other variables put it into a fine lagrangian and we get the uh, einstein equation for lagrangian picture as a as a following derivative and we remember that pi is a uh, is a metric it's a metric density we can say yes uh, and maybe I remind, oh, why it is useful, and it will be, and will be, it will be uh, all for this first part. Uh, so we have the possibility to write and analyze theories in other pictures, as I said. Uh, we have a new options to generalization well-known theories. It is very popular to, for example, uh, use the Palatini picture to multiply to write other terms uh, which depends of uh, covariant derivatives and have new connections. Uh, it is uh, really popular. Uh, option, but I use, uh, but I will present the generalization, uh, but not in Palatini picture, but in affine picture, as an example of this whole delib deliberation. And we have a very verific verification of theories, which have some uh, extra assumptions. And as an example of this, I will talk about uh, the while con uh, the uh, while conformal gravity, and some models of, uh, of it. And that's, I think, yes. Uh, and that will be all for this first part. Uh, okay, so, so, uh, uh, you know that you have something like 25 minutes to the end of the seminar. Yeah, so are you finished or it's the uh, end of uh, some part of the talk or? We can't hear, we can't hear you. Put on my microphone, please. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I think we could have a break. Uh, no, I, okay, so but our seminar is uh, 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 without break and it's... Uh, ah, okay, sorry, I, I don't... Ah, okay, so I could continue, sorry, I think, I, I think we have a break. Okay, sorry, sorry, so no, 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 so I, so I will continue. Okay, may I have a... Excuse me, may I have a question, please? Yes, of course. Um, is there a corresponding, um, let's say, um, formalism? Uh, you know, in terms of Hamiltonian formulation? Uh, somehow, yes, because uh, especially it's de it depends what you mean about Hamiltonian, because from the uh, physically uh, thinking, we have this, we have to get a foliation for the uh, 
the, for the space part and the time part and we have to put some uh, uh, and we want to and pre, and we use to some uh, legend transformation and do all these uh, deliberations so in this point of view uh, we also can uh, uh, also i think for the uh, not for this general deliberation but for the uh, metric uh, for the metric case and lagrangian and hilbert action Professor Kijowski make a, uh, make a uh, write a, a paper uh, about the Hamiltonian uh, for this case and and calculate the ADM mass and ADM mass for it. So somehow yes, but generally I don't want to go into Hamiltonian uh, in the physic uh, in the physic point uh, in the physic thing. Because, but in when we think it about mathematically, I don't want to foliate it. I only have the position and the momenta so uh, in this point of view it is uh, this uh, this description is uh, for example okay i put the different uh, slide uh, mm, for example uh, this uh, the uh, affine, Lagrange, affine lagrangian is a lagrangian when we are looking on it for the uh, for the uh, for the tensor matter field uh, but for where we are looking on it for the metric, it is a Hamiltonian because metric takes rule of a uh, momenta, and previously it was uh, a position. So somehow, yes, <laughs> somehow. Uh, okay, uh, but concerning Lagrangian formulation, is there one-to-one -one, uh, correspondence uh, among these uh, three uh, formulations? Uh, could you repeat, please? Uh, is there one-to-one -one correspondence between uh, among these three pictures? Yes, it is one to, uh, on shell. When we assume, when but it is uh, what we we always do. Uh, I I present it is one to one. We uh, of course uh, I finish from uh, the way from the metric case to affine, but we also could the same from affine to metric. But I want to to present it. But I write it in my master thesis. Yes, it is full correspondence from one to one for all these three pictures. Yes. Absolutely, yes. Perfect, thank you. So we can say that each theory could be written in all these three, uh, three pictures and we can uh, go from one to another. Of course, we have some problems. It, it, it's quite serious problems like solving Einstein equation. Yes, it is very difficult, the equation to have a metric. We, we don't have uh, few the theories, when we, uh, general theories where we uh, could calculate the, the, the metric from it. But if we can, Yes, it is no problem. So uh, if we can solve the Einstein equation, so uh, eliminate this metric, what I said uh, previously, uh, if we can eliminate it, it's no problem to, to get all these pictures. And I present some easy example, but it is trivial. For, unfortunately, it is a trivial example because we don't have this, uh, uh, these problems with uh, covariant derivatives. Uh, I present an example about all this, uh, deliberate, uh, about all of this, and uh, finally, uh, other. So, oh, uh, we don't have breaks, sorry. I also, I, I think all this time that we have a break. So, uh, what it is useful, I said it. So, uh, now maybe some uh, very short uh, example, an easy example, the gravitation with cosmological constant. So, where we start from the metric, oh, and full screen mode, of course, uh, full screen mode. Uh, so, uh, when we have uh, the metric picture, we have the Hilbert Lagrangian with term with cosmological constant. So now Einstein equation, of course, it is the variation of this Lagrangian over metric, it should be equal zero. And then we have the well-known equation, uh, Einstein equation with cosmological constant. So uh, our Lagrangian don't de uh, doesn't depend on the metric connection. So as I said previously, uh, the new general symmetric connection is, is especially the metric connection. But uh, to 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 have this big, uh, to have these uh, calculations much clearer and uh, analog and anal uh, and uh, have an analog to previous uh, deliberation, I use the, the the general notation without this circle. Oh, I don't say that. But when some objects have circle, it is. Uh, it is uh, so we have the same formula. We don't have any uh, subtract terms. And here, of course, also Einstein equation is the derivation of uh, this Palatini Lagrangian over the metric. We again have the same equation, but for general case. And also, we have this character uh, connection character equation that our Lagrangian doesn't depend on 
uh, on this general connection. So our uh, so uh, so this is zero. So from this we calculate that our connection have to be metric. So it is exactly what Palatini make in his uh, in his paper when we use when he used this uh, this point of view that connection is an independent uh, degree of freedom is exactly the same and uh, it is easy to go to the to the affine picture because we have to uh, we have to eliminate this g by other terms so by lambda and by uh, ricci tensor so when we do this so when we put this equation into a previous mentioned formula we have following formula so our affine lagrangian of theory of gravity with cosmological constant have following form very easy very nice very clear, I think. So we have the determinant of this Ricci tensor and some and some constant. Yes, very nice. And Einstein equation again, it is the as I said uh, the derivative over this uh, Ricci tensor of this Lagrangian, and it should be equal to pi, which is pro proportional to metric. And again, we have the same Einstein equation, and of course we have the same connection character equation because our Lagrangian doesn't depend on uh, on covariant derivatives, so it only depends on uh, Ricci tensor. So we again have the same. So as I said, it is very easy, but it is somehow trivial example of of this theory. Uh, what I want uh, to say it, uh, to said uh, that uh, that uh, and I said it previously that I want to use this whole uh, picture, uh, this whole um, this whole to uh, this whole discussion to make some general uh, to, to make some generalization. So. Uh, let us uh, uh, let us look at uh, on uh, follows uh, observation. So uh, assume that we have the composition of general connection, uh, pro, uh, and it is a sum of metric connection and some non-metricity tensor. So generally, our Ricci tensor, which you can build from this connection, have two parts: symmetric and anti-symmetric. In general case, yes, anti-symmetric part exists; it doesn't vanish. It only vanishes from uh, metric case. So we could uh, rewrite uh, these uh, these two parts as a symmetric part. This have following uh, formula and anti-symmetric part, which has which only depends of this non-metricity. So what I what so as I said before, if our connection is metric, this non this anti-symmetric part is automatically automatically vanishes. So our uh, so my proposition to generalize to generalization of uh, our previously mentioned the theory is not use the only symmetric part because uh, when we read uh, write previous uh, Lagrangian we have only the symmetric Ricci tensor, but use the general Ricci tensor not only symmetric but with anti-symmetric part. Yes, so it is uh, it is kind of uh, generalization, and so we now we assume the Lagrangian which depends on full Ricci tensor uh, with uh, their uh, symmetric part and anti-symmetric part. The symmetric part I uh, called now as a K and anti-symmetric as, as F. So such theory have really nice properties because uh, the anti-symmetric part we could, uh, we could uh, the anti-symmetric part has the same properties as a Faraday to form. Uh, why? Because at first it is uh, anti-symmetric tensor as Faraday form, uh, and it is close anti-symmetric tensor. Why? Because uh, we have here the formula for this f, and we can see that it is anti-symmetric derivative over the trace of this anti-symmetric tensor. So the trace it's one form, so it is anti-symmetrization of some one form. Yes. So it is exactly the same what we have for electromagnetism when we have a Faraday form and uh, electromagnetic potential. So it looks very similar. Yes, it uh, it looks very similar. Uh, and but this interpretation uh, have some reasons. But I don't want to present all this calculation because it also takes. It should such this theory. When if I want to present uh, properly, it will takes me one seminar. So I only shortly describe what I have. Uh, so this anti-symmetric Ricci tensor uh, could be written as a, uh, the Faraday two form with uh, following coefficient, uh, which depends on cosmological constant. Why we need this? Because the, uh, in uh, geometrical uh, units, uh, the Ricci tensor uh, is uh, not, don't have unit, but Faraday two, two form have unit of centimeter, as I remember, and cosmological constant have uh, the uh, unit one over centimeter square. 
So this this object has uh, don't have a unit, so it could be somehow proportional. But this uh, this uh, this coefficient is uh, purely calculated in my master thesis and also Bakelite thesis. Uh, and our non-metric connection have following form. Uh, we have the old connection metric and uh, following uh, non-metricity term, uh, and A is an electromagnetic potential. So it is uh, we have something like this. Uh, such theory uh, uh, generates the some uh, some uh, uh, some uh, perturbation, maybe I could say it as a perturbation of equation for the electromagnetic potential. Because for pure electromagnetic, we have that uh, electromagnetic potential the the, the, lamb, uh, the of uh, electromagnetic potential is zero. But here, uh, it is not zero. It is it. It's, uh, it is it has following form and this equation could be called as a Broca equation uh, in the in for example uh, particle uh, physics where you have uh, some for bosons yes for uh, a spin off uh, with bosons with spin one we could have following equation but uh, in curved space time we cannot this term interpret as a mass so uh, unfortunately uh, we, we have that equation but uh, interpretation of this term as a mass it's uh, it's not well defined. And we have the Einstein equation for this uh, for this uh, for this theory, and it has following form. If we use this, of course, um, uh, of course, this uh, this equality, and it's of and it is exactly the equation of Einstein Maxwell theory with cosmological constant. Yes, of course, it is as an approximation. This is the pure uh, pure equation, but uh, but as of approximation for the first most important terms. Uh, it is exactly the Einstein-Maxwell theory with cosmological constant. So, so such interpretation, which I have here, is quite well um, uh, arg argued. Yes, we 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 have few uh, we have few uh, equations which looks really uh, similar to the uh, to what we know for uh, for well-known theories as the Einstein-Maxwell theory. Moreover. Uh, oh, I also put the covariant derivative of this metric. So uh, this theory isn't uh, conformal. Uh, so such connection isn't conformal. It doesn't conserve the angles of uh, of objects in uh, in space time. Uh, and uh, to get all these uh, things, we have uh, we have assumed that cosmological constant is lower than zero. Uh, it is important when we uh, when we go uh, when we write some uh, approximations. Uh, I don't go into it. I only say that cosmological constant for this theory should be lower than zero. And when we use uh, approximation uh, for uh, weak electromagnetic fields, so R where F is uh, quite uh, is uh, lower than uh, than uh, than metric or uh, than connection, uh, it could be written in following form, and it is uh, somehow the Palatini picture. And we get that it is the general the generalized uh, Born-Infeld theory. Yes, here we have the Born-Infeld part, well known. Yes, the metric plus something anti-symmetric with some constant. But we I have a generalization for so for the curved space time. So for curved uh, space time we have the at the um, the um, uh, the Hilbert part and. Uh, here should be two, not one, because in uh, in Einstein uh, in uh, Born-Infeld theory it it is uh, minus b uh, b square exactly uh, plus b square. But for this point of view, it should be it should we should get following form, and b is uh, equal uh, to to following term. So uh, again, cosmological constant takes a role of born uh, of Born-Infeld uh, constant for uh, for their theory. What is also uh, also interesting that they produce their theory a theory to to solve totally different problem because they have problem with uh, with uh, infinite infinite uh, uh, infinite uh, electro uh, electric field, uh, but for this theory we have some uh, extra uh, uh, some extra uh, result that we we reproduce this theory and. When we go to the metric uh, picture, so this born in uh, picture is only in the uh, in the Palatini uh, picture. But when we go to the Einstein, to the metric picture, we produce the Einstein Maxwell theory with cosmological constant. So, as I said, 
such uh, uh, such theory ha has really nice uh, properties. This generalized theory or the general uh, uh, Ricci tensor. Yes. Uh, and, uh, how many time I have? How much time I have to to, to the end? Like fifteen minutes, twenty. Fifteen minutes. Oh, so I think uh, it's it's it is fine. So. Uh, and now I want to discuss shortly the vial conformal gravity and this problem of it. Because as we, uh, in vial conformal gravity, we have following assumption, I think. Uh, I think I could it uh, called as assumption that covariant derivative of metric uh, is proportional to metric with some, uh, with some uh, one form and some constant. So we have that uh, our spa uh, this uh, connection conserve uh, the angles, yes? All of us know it. The connection uh, for which respect uh, which uh, respect this uh, this equation have following form. So our non matricity tensor have this uh, this structure. So when we want to use it in Palatini picture, we have, as I said before, the connection fractal equation. So we cannot randomly write the matter term and this and this connection and derivatives for this connection. But we have some uh, some rules how to do it. Uh, so as I said, uh, the the uh, the derivative of uh, new, uh, the matter uh, Lagrangian in Palatini picture over this uh, connection should be equal to covari uh, covariant derivative uh, of metric uh, to covariant derivative of this metric. Yes. So our uh, uh, and the pi, uh, and I want to remind uh, what is pi, this with four indices. So uh, from this point of view, uh, we could, uh, ah, okay. So uh, the most easy way is to integrate this part so we can on, also, we, so we can multiply it over the connection. It will be linear uh, in, in connection, yes? It is, uh, I think, uh, easy uh, that when we have following part, the derivative of this Lagrangian over connection produced this part which we have previously. Yes. So when we use the formula of this pi, uh, that is combination of G, we have some strange object. Why? Because we have two terms of connections and one form omega. Uh, for the one form, uh, we could produce only one uh, interesting object with, uh, with connection. It is the covariant derivative. Moreover, if we don't have some extra parts and we have only con uh, and we have only metric, we have produced only one object uh, which is linear in connection and this and this omega. It is a divergence. Yes, we, we don't have something uh, something else. Uh, but if this connection is uh, non-metric, we could uh, have a divergence. Uh, we, we could have two two types. We could have a pure divergence. Yes, uh, so with uh, low index and upper index of omega. And where on, when omega is uh, not under the derivative but upside, so the maybe some the what I uh, what I maybe uh, find that the some non-trivial and somehow not no also it is pathological uh, Lagrangian which respects this is could be have following form. So okay, I don't have one object; I have two objects, omega and j, but looking on this part, it is absolutely equal. When we uh, calculate the uh, Euler-Lagrange equation for, for this, the J is equal to omega. So now we have the, 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 uh, the divergence of omega with upper indices and uh, the covariant derivative of omega with low indices, but metric is uh, on the other side. So again, so this part uh, going to, to that, we have the divergence, or, uh, we have the covariant derivative of this omega and covariant derivative of metric. I don't see any theory uh, where we put following terms that we have the covariant derivative of metric uh, inside, pure, uh, clearly written inside the matter Lagrangian. So for this point of view, this vial conformal gravity is strange. Yes, we, I, I don't, I really a lot of time think about uh, how to construct the Lagrangian, so maybe uh, some nice, some maybe nice looking Lagrangian, uh, which could produce the uh, vial, uh, the, the this conformal gravity, but I don't don't find it. So from this point of view, it is uh, it is really strange. And the last uh, example which I want to talk about, it's uh, it, and it is non-trivial. It's a Proca 
theory with little perturbation and somehow again pathological perturbation because the procalagrangian is the mm, is uh, have the structure of uh, the uh, uh, Einstein uh, of uh, Maxwell uh, theory. So we have this part which is looking as in uh, electro electromagnet electrodynamic, but I use different letters to don't uh, to, to don't make confusion. Uh, but we also add the mass term and some term which is proportional to full divergence. So somehow this term is, as I said, pathological because it doesn't change anything because it is a full divergence. So it don't affect into the um, into the equations of uh, dynamics, but it affects in other way because, as we said previously, uh, oh, uh, as we said previously, with, if we have the covariant derivatives, it will change the character of connection. So. Our Broca equation for this uh, theory uh, is uh, is following. So we have the the Lambertian of this uh, one form B, and this the mass part proportional to the uh, the term proportional to the uh, uh, Ricci curv curvature of this uh, space time, and uh, and uh, this term. In uh, in uh, Einstein Maxwell theory where we when, where we don't have mass, this term also is zero because we have the uh, Lorentz gauge, but in Proca, uh, in Proca theory, we don't have Lorentz gauge because because we have this term. So if we have the master, we cannot assume the uh, the Lorentz gauge. That's brutal, but so our non-metricity tensor for this theory uh, is has following form, quite easy and and nice because it is linear. It is it is easy to get that this is uh, proportional to the matter. So it is also what I said at the beginning of this talk that matter affects on non-metricity of uh, of connection. Yes, it affects for, uh, as an example in that way. Einstein, uh, Einstein equation for this theory it is somehow generalization of uh, equation for the Maxwell theory, Einstein-Maxwell theory with matter term. Uh, and as I said, this full divergence don't uh, don't goes into this uh, dynamic equation. And uh, ah, and I ah, so if you want to go to the Palatini, uh, so I put this example to to also make all this way uh, of uh, of getting in all pictures. So when we go want to go to the Palatini picture, we have to transform this uh, covariant derivative using the new uh, the new connection. So. Uh, as I said, the B is the at the beginning is a one form, so we have to write this uh, this uh, divergence, uh, this covariant divergence as a following term, and we we have to uh, transform this this uh, especially this uh, covariant derivative into the new covariant derivative of new connection and some extra term, and it is equal to this, it is proportional to this B, and we finally have following term. So our matter Lagrangian in Palatini picture, it is old Lagrangian, as I said, but uh, but written in the new coordinates, so using new connection, and we have to subtract some term, which is proportional to derivatives over this metric connection. So this all these uh, all these formulas was written previously. So I only mentioned that we have subtract something, not only not only transform, but also subtract something. Now, uh, so. Uh, here we have uh, this term, and when we calculate all these things, we could see that we have old term which doesn't uh, fill the co covariance uh, derivatives because it is antisymmetric. We have this divergence, and uh, and finally we have the mass term, but the mass transforms and it is lower, uh, and it is lower. So. Mm, I think it is somehow interesting that we have the effect that uh, we, we 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 have we, if at the beginning m will be zero in Palatini picture it for example could have mass or on the other hand uh, we could say that we can start in Palatini picture without mass and finally in metric picture we will produce some mass or something like this. Yes, so it is somehow interesting that. Uh, the trivial, uh, somehow trivial uh, part, uh, which is the full divergence, could uh, could produce such such funny things. And when we, if we want to go to a fine picture, we have to solve the Einstein equation and find from this metric. It is uh, unsolvable analytically. So sorry, it is it is a problem to solve the Einstein equation. Uh, so if we if we can 
solve the metric, we only have to transform uh, if we know the form or the formula of metric using the other variables. The the Einstein equation, the affine equation or on shell should have this form, but uh, the g is only a function of other variables. So we only want to retransform this this part into into new uh, new variables, and that that's that's all. So thank you very much. That's all. So, so thank you for a nice talk. So uh, maybe are there some questions, comments? I have some questions. Uh, first of yes. all, in your full theory uh, of gravity plus uh, electromagnetism without approximations, uh, do you have uh, Duality rotation symmetry in electromagnetic sector. Mm, I don't know, but um, you said that uh, with uh, the in, uh, Einstein Maxwell theory without appro without approximation. So you your generalization of uh, Einstein Maxwell theory. In my generalization, if I start from uh, okay, I go to the this. Uh, so if I start, I have the affine. Uh, so uh, ah, you said that that I have this the uh, symmetry of rotation, yes. Uh, I ask if you have symmetry of dual rotations in uh, magnetic and electric and electric field. What does it mean, dual? Uh, that you can move f by that you can rotate f uh, by star f. So uh, maybe so uh, I. I think I know, I think yes, but uh, maybe I answer quite differently. I use this, uh, this uh, model to calculate uh, to for, for spherically symmetric case, and I reproduce for this general theory, the theory of uh, Reisner Nordstrom with cosmological constant, uh, the generalized form for Einstein, uh, for the Reisner Nordstrom with, general, uh, with cosmological constant uh, case. So this answer to you or not? Mm, not at all. I don't mean rotate. Okay, basically, I don't mean rotations in real space, but rotation in space of electric and magnetic field. So you mean that transformation? But, uh, we can discuss it later on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, and my second question would be: Can you do the same? With magic, non -electric. magic, but, but but your first question was related to vacuum, yes. So 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 these dual rotations does not work for any theory of of uh, electromagnetic field. This is this is for Maxwell equation. Yes, yes, I meant in my electromagnetic sector. Yeah, well, but what you mean by electromagnetic sector? You you assume that the mean is Minkowski. No, not necessarily. You actually have this symmetry even in curved space-time in um, Einstein Maxwell. I mean, if you have Maxwell theory on curved background, but in general, you, you have no star operation. You know, just mm -hmm. that, that that's the problem. Could you repeat? What do you mean by Hodge dual when you have a fine gravity? You have connection. What does it mean? To take dual field with respect to the connection. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, so, yeah, so, okay. Oh, 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 so of course, it's an answer because. Color, right. So, so, so you should see, first think what you want to do. You know. Just, mm -hmm. Okay. So, but, so it is an answer that in this case we don't have this problem. Well, I wouldn't say that having additional symmetry is a problem. It's a bonus, uh, but. Okay, my, my other question would be, can you do the same construction with non-abelian uh, gauge fields? Uh, I have to answer, I don't know. I only do it for the symmetric case. I, I only do this, uh, this, this all construction for this case, which I present. So I have the symmetric connection. Also, I don't know if I have the non-symmetric connection or, non or some non-abelian object. I don't know. Okay. So, I don't know yet, maybe. Okay, so some other questions. Perhaps some related comment that in general you can also include spin to field into na in a natural way and as an extra field beyond gravity. 
So, so in this sense, maybe, uh, so this is di different story, okay. But I, I guess uh, Bartek is working on it. Somehow, yes. Mm. So, if, oh, so I could comment this comment. Uh, so uh, here we have that we only use the uh, full Ricci tensor. So we could assume that to trans, and here we have the, the, the determinant of the Ricci tensor. So we could uh, transform this, this object to some object which depends on full uh, Riemann tensor, for example, but it, don't, it cannot be the derivative, the determinant. It should be some different combination, for example, with Levitch Vita uh, symbols. Uh, and then we will have the one extra part, which is the vial tensor. And here we have maybe this uh, this uh, analog with some object with spin. Yes, you, uh, Professor, you mean this? You mean this? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So, mm -hmm. uh, so yes. So somehow we can we can put uh, here some some objects with spin. Okay, so so uh, some other comments or questions. So, so, so maybe I, I have one question because um, uh, if you assume that cosmological constant is zero, then with this um, uh, derivation of the affine formulation, there is some problem, yes? Yes, but uh, from this problem also when we assume the cosmos. So uh, at the first point of view, yes, we have problem. But when we think it uh, to when we transform it into the uh, metric case, you also have Ricci tensor as zero. So you have the uh, you have zero over zero. So it could be anything. Yeah, I know. At the at the first uh, thinking, this cosmological constant ha uh, is when it will be zero, we have a problem. But uh, we we have to looking at it uh, as uh, in a in a, for example in approximate way. So if it uh, so we have to write firstly the Einstein equations and all this all this stuff and then put it as a zero. Okay. okay. So I know that from so that's looking somehow strange, but uh, but yes. So generally we have something and if it is so also it is it makes a problem for the pure uh, Hilbert uh, action because Hilbert action on the uh, on this shell is zero because uh, Ricci tensor is zero so this Hilbert Lagrangian is also zero so how we can transform zero only to zero yes yeah but you can for example not be able to determine uh, a metric tensor in terms of connection. And I think for uh, Minkowski, for example, it's the case. So for Minkowski, there are many. OK, so if you have the uh, flat connection, then you have quite many uh, metrics that are preserved. Every constant metric is preserved. So it's not you cannot determine uniquely the metric for a, a cosmological constant equal to 0. I think for the other, you can, but. OK. Okay, but I, maybe I'm okay. So, any other uh, questions? Or... I have a question. Is any of this scheme better for quantization? Uh, excuse me, could you repeat? What about quantization of this theory? Uh, I don't make any quantization of this theory. So, the answer is maybe uh, so. Uh, the, the, maybe uh, I should say something like this. The, person who have all this idea and I work with, with him is Professor Kijowski. So maybe he knows something about quantization about it, but I don't think so. I, I few times mentioned uh, him about this, uh, about this thing, but he don't get me an answer. So I don't know, but I, I don't do anything in the quantization case. I only make it classically, uh, but I don't know uh, any, I, I don't know about quantization in this point of view. Jacek, such a general question is too difficult. You know, so, yeah. so you, you should you should take a toy model where where something is nonlinear and, and 
and much simpler, and you may ask how to quantize it. So, so. Oh, yes, of course, yes. But as so. I said, I I I prepare I prepare this uh, very easy. I think this is the most easy ex the easiest example as I could produce with this block up uh, theory with perturbation, and it is it and it cannot be in easy way uh, analy analytically uh, transformed to few to all these uh, all these pictures. So. You can see that the problem is in Einstein equation. It is very complicated, and we uh, and we could and we possibly, if for example, if you could quantize something in Palatini picture, we you can, you probably cannot go with it into the affine in uh, without some approximation of or other trick. Uh, I have a technical question to the organizers. Uh, which one? Uh, I don't know which one. Uh, th there is recording, and 